Millie, and I'm really excited to be here with you for Sunday School this morning. And happy Palm Sunday! We're going to be talking a little bit about Palm Sunday um, this morning together. So we're going to get started with some singing. If you know these songs, please sing along at your house, or you can dance along if you want to do that too. All right. Ready, girls? We're going to start out with the welcome song. So everybody, get your waving hands ready for the welcome song. All right, ready? One, two, Three. Friend, oh friend, how do you do? Welcome to our Sunday school. We jump up, we turn around, we sit down and pat the ground. Friend, oh friend, how do you do? Welcome to our Sunday school. We're going to thank God for this day that he's made. All right, ready? One, two, three. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Okay, go ahead. For a minute. Dear God, I thank you so much for these precious children who are with us this morning, these children who you love and who you made each one of them. And thank you that they're a part of our church family. And God, we thank you that you care for us and that you're always with us, even when we're not together, like this morning. And we pray that during this time you would take good care of our families and that you would watch over us and keep us, and that you would help us to know how much you love us and that you would help us to love you more and more. And we pray that you would help us to have fun this morning as we hear a Bible story and to learn a little bit more about you. And we pray in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Um, why is this? All right, everybody, before we do our Bible story, we're going to get all our wiggles out so we can sit still and listen for a few minutes to our story. So let me see the ten <coughs> fingers God made on your hands. Joe. <laughs> all right, and let's wiggle them. I wiggle my fingers. fingers. Good. And I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my shoulders, big wiggle, and I wiggle my nose, and now the wiggles are out of me, and I can be still as still can be. All right, and I'm going to have my children sit down on the floor, and you can sit down if you're listening, and now is the time where I'm going to tell you a story from the Bible, and this is a true story. It really happened a long time ago because the Bible is God's word. And the stories from this book are true. And I'm going to use some props, some different things that I'm going to have, some stuff I'm going to have up here with me. And some of them are a little bit silly, but the Bible story was real. Yes. And I want you to see these so it'll help you understand the Bible Don't story. See the donkey slid. And you might laugh a little bit, but I want you to know that the story from God's word really happened. And it was a really exciting day, this story that I'm going to tell you guys today. So this is the story of Palm Sunday. Well, Jesus and some of his helpers who were called his disciples, they were going to Jerusalem, to a big city, for something special that was happening there. And what was special that was happening there was a time called Passover. And you might remember from the Old Testament that Passover was a time when God's people remembered when God had saved them from the bad king Pharaoh. 
who was making them slaves in Egypt. God had saved them out of Egypt and used Moses to lead them out. And so Jesus and his helpers were remembering Passover and they were going to Jerusalem to celebrate and lots and lots of people were going there. Um, so as they were on their way, Jesus told two of his helpers that he wanted them to go and find a donkey, a young donkey. And he told them where to find the donkey and what to do when they found it. He said, you're going to go and find it. And you tell the people who own that donkey, tell them, if they ask you, hey, why are you taking my donkey? You tell them the Lord needs it and they'll give you that donkey. And so we have a pretend donkey here. This is our donkey that lives at our house sometimes. So the disciples, the helpers obeyed Jesus and they went and they found the donkey and they untied it. And the people said, yes, the Lord could have this donkey to use this donkey. So they got it. Now, do you guys know? Do you guys know what a donkey says? What do you think a donkey says? What noise might it make? Good. Those are some good donkey noises. And who, who do you think? Hey, Joanna. Who do you think made that donkey that the disciples found? God. God. Yeah, God made that donkey. All right. Well, the disciples brought the donkey to Jesus, and um. Jesus sat down on the donkey to ride on it. And so Jesus sat down and the donkey was riding clip, clop, clip, clop with the donkey's hooves. And so as they went along towards Jerusalem, more and more people saw them. Now the disciples and other people, they liked Jesus. They knew that he was a good teacher. They had heard him teach. And they knew that he was able to make sick people well. They had seen him do miracles and make people well. And so people started gathering. It was kind of like a parade. Maybe you've been to a parade at Christmas time or the 4th of July where lots of people come and there's people going down the middle of the street and it's loud and there's fun things that are that you have in your hand that you're waving around. And that's kind of like what happened here. Many people started singing. I was just going and grabbing candy. Okay, yeah, there was there might be something fun to eat there. People started singing and they were praising Jesus who was rising on riding on the donkey and they were saying, Blessed is King Jesus. And they were calling Jesus a king. And I have a little crown here. This is more like a princess crown, because we have lots of girls at our house. But they were they were calling Jesus a king. Blessed is King Jesus, they were saying. They were excited and wanting him to be their king. And they were saying, Hosanna! Can you hold up your fingers and wiggle them and say, Hosanna! 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 Save us, they said. Save us, King Jesus. And then the people picked up their coats and they laid their coats down on the ground. Girls, we can lay them right here on the ground for Jesus to ride the donkey no on the coats. Mama, I have no coat. And some might have, I Jesus no might have been coat. sitting on the coat. That's okay, no Joanna. Coat. Here, why don't you put this one in front of you? They put their coats on the ground so the donkey and Jesus would have a soft place to walk. And then some people were waving palm branches in the air. If you still have your palm branch, you can wave it in the air. And they were shouting, Hosanna! Can you say that with your palm branch? Hosanna! Hosanna! Save us, Jesus! Save us. They were getting excited. And I have a picture to show you. Here's a picture of some of the people and what they might have looked like as they were watching for Jesus coming down the road on the donkey. So when Jesus rode the donkey into Jerusalem, it showed that Jesus was the king who had come to save his people. And the people were right to be excited because Jesus is a king and he did come to save his people. And God wants us to praise Jesus too, just the way that the people praised him that day. And God wants us to know that Jesus came to save us. He came to save us from our sins, to save us for the times that we disobey. And he died on the cross to take the punishment for those sins so that we can be forgiven and we can be his children and live with him forever. And so that's what God wants us to do as well. Hosanna! So that's the end of this part of our Bible story. But as you might know, after Palm Sunday, <laughs> came some sad and some bad things that happened to Jesus when he died on the cross. Um, and so I have a little illustration, something that I want to show you guys, to show how some of those people who were really excited when Jesus came on the donkey for Palm Sunday, 
they didn't stay so excited. And so I have a little um, thing to show you. Now, I want you guys to know that I had a birthday this week. I turned 39 years old and I got some presents for my birthday and I had pizza and ice cream and one of my new presents was some rain boots. I've never had rain boots in my whole life and this year I got my very first pair of rain boots. have ice cream that was for my birthday last night. And so I have a present here. Now this is not a birthday present. May I see this present? This is just a present and I'd like you to watch me. I'm gonna unwrap this present and you might know, well you can help me yeah here in just a minute. You might know what it feels like to unwrap a present. You get really excited. You wanna know what's inside. Maybe you hope you have something that you're wanting and that you hope is in there. So you can help me. We're gonna see what's in this present. You guys help me open it. Yeah. Mom, I can't wait for you to open the present we got for you. Alright, so let's see what it is. <gasps> what is it? It's empty. Oh no! That is wanting a really special present. There's nothing in here. How would you feel? Alright, can my girls move to the side a little bit? How would you feel if you opened a present and inside there was nothing? You might feel sad. Or you might feel angry or disappointed. Yeah, like, I'm now, that sorry. feeling that you I'm might sorry. have is how some of the people might have felt when they realized that Jesus wasn't going to be the kind of king they thought he was going to be. Some people, when Jesus came riding on his donkey into Jerusalem, they thought he was ready to be a fighter king, that he was going to beat all of the bad guys, and he might fight with a weapon and with an army, and he would take over, and he would make the world a safe and peaceful and happy place for God's people to live right then. And they, didn't, they were disappointed when they saw that Jesus wasn't going to do that. And instead, we know that even though Jesus really is the king, he was a king who came to die. Yeah. And the Bible tells us that he came to serve other people. And one day he will come back again, and he will win a battle. But that wasn't what he was there to do at that time. And the people felt sad and disappointed, and some of them felt angry. And that's part of why just a short time after, the people were so excited for Jesus riding in on the donkey, they wanted to kill him on the cross. But we know, and we'll talk about next week, that he didn't stay dead when he died on the cross, that he rose again. And so um, I'm really glad that you guys could join us for Sunday School today. And before we go, we're going to end with one song, one more song. He's got the whole world in his hands. And I like this song because it's a song about how God takes care of his people, but also of the whole world. And there's not anything that can happen in the world that surprises God or that is too big for him to, to control and be in charge of. So if you want to sing this one with us, you can. All right, girls, let's stand up. We'll sing one more. He's got the whole world in his hands. Ready? Okay. One.